During breastfeeding, of course, there is increase in the glandular elements in the breast and therefore there is increase or change in size of the breast. During menopause, when uh, the estrogen production in the body wanes off, there is de a definite reduction in the size of the breast. So today we are going to talk about changes in the breast in women. Humans are mammals and they, they produce milk to feed their young. The breast consists of therefore milk glands, fatty tissue and fibers. The breast undergoes several changes during the life of a woman. At birth, the breast tissue is slightly swollen because of the estrogen hormone produced and passed via the placenta from the mother's blood. And therefore, there may be a slight swelling and sometimes neonates can also get little bit secretions. At puberty, when growth spurt happens, so does the breast tissue increase and breast buds become prominent and eventually the breast gets formed. Whenever there is weight gain, the fatty tissue of the breast may increase and cause change in size of the breast. During your menstrual cycle, before the periods come in, there is an excess of progesterone hormone which causes breast congestion and sometimes lumpy cystic feeling and pain in the breast may occur. During pregnancy, the hormones estrogen and progesterone increase the breast tissue, help in the glandular growth and therefore there is change in the size of the breast as well as, as, well as the areola. Uh, during breastfeeding, of course, there is increase in the glandular elements in the breast and therefore there is increase or change in size of the breast. After breastfeeding finishes, the breast tissue does uh, regress and the glandular elements do regress and there is a change in size and reduction in the size of the breast. Uh, during menopause, when uh, the estrogen production in the body wanes off, there is de a definite reduction in the size of the breast. 90% of girls have a difference in the size of the two breasts with 1% uh, one breast being bigger than the other but this difference should not be more than 10%. If there is a difference in size uh, between both the breasts and this is very prominent, you may need cosmetic surgery. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.